Lexamali. You can find me as Lexamali on Instagram. In my feed, that's where I share my artwork, what I love writing about, and my cooking and crafting experiments. What do you think about the pen community as a whole? And how have they enriched your life? The pen community, as I know it here locally, a very friendly group of people. And the way they've enriched my life is primarily by sharing ideas and stories about fountain pens. And what I've learned from them um, is helping me develop my art, specifically geared towards fountain pens. And then Endless Pens approached you with the Opus 88 Pocket Pen Project. Uh, when they first approached you with that idea, what were your initial thoughts and feelings? <laughs> My first reaction was, what? Me? Really? <laughs> but then I felt honored because my art on a fountain pen, which is my favorite tool now for making art. So I felt that it was like coming full circle this way. And this is your design mm. and you've, you've called it Cup of Comfort. Cup of Comfort, yes. So how did you come up with this design? What inspired you or what does it mean to you personally? Well, the design is based on how I draw. So if you notice, there are loose organic lines that flow together. And then I love swirls, so it's there. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what inspired me to think of this as cup of comfort is, this is what I want to see when I sit down and spend some time relaxing. Right. And do you usually relax with a cup of tea? Yes, I do. <laughs> because it's the taste itself and the warmth is mm -hmm. very calming for me. So we know that uh, 20 Sides created Coffee Holic. Would you say you're more of a coffee drinker or a tea drinker if you could, if you could only choose one? If I could only choose one, then it would be tea. Why? <laughs> well, because I like the different scents, right, the different right. flavors. It's very natural on the tongue. Mm. And I could also get that buzz that you usually get from coffee, but it's not that hyper. Right, right. That's true. Are there any specific teas that you prefer? Do you have like a tea ritual that you perform? Uh, if I want to relax, I usually have a cup of chamomile or green tea. Mm. But if I want to stay up late... I, I use black tea. Are there any local teas only available in the Philippines that you would recommend? Hmm. I'm not familiar though. <laughs> okay, that's fine. How about a tea ritual? Preparing tea for me is part of a larger ritual. Uh, the very act of brewing it and then taking that first sip. It's like starting a session of writing, drawing, or reading. Mm, I see. Speaking of writing and drawing, <laughs> is it okay if we see it in action, oh, the pen? Sure. So it's, it's going to be swirls. <laughs> of of course. course. I love the feedback. <laughs> How would you describe the feedback of the Opus 88? It's there, and there's that nice sound, but it it also skates on the paper. I guess it depends also on the paper. What paper are you using right now? This is the Moe. Oh. But it's nice. I mean, I like feedback because it gives you an assessment of how your hand is moving, how mm. the nib is moving. And it gives you a bit of control as opposed to a very buttery smooth nib. Right. And does that help with sketching, you think, that um, awareness of the nib on paper? Yes, of course, yes. Because it helps you guide how your hand or your fingers will move and where you want the lines to go. So they there's a see. bit of control? Yes, yeah. And what ink are you using? This is Robert Oster Cozy Comforts Tea Time. Perfect for a cup of comfort. Yes. <laughs> When other people use this pen that you've designed, uh, what do you hope to convey to anyone who purchases it and what do you hope they experience when writing with it? Well, first, 
because of the design. One thing I'd like them to remember is take time for yourself. Self-care is important. So for me, in particular, uh, having tea, making tea, is part of my self-care ritual. And when I use the pen, and as well, when you use the pen, I hope you feel that quiet joy when you feel the movement of the nib on the paper and when your thoughts become transformed into inky expressions of art or writing. So that's what I want you to feel. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Lex. Thank you. I hope you like the pen. It's really cute. <laughs> <laughs>